जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल डे वेन वी हियर न्यूज ऑफ क्राइम्स कमिटेड अगेंस्ट वेमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन अराउंड द ग्लोब एंड देर इज अ प्रोविजन ऑफ स्ट्रिंजेंट पनिशमेंट गिवन टू द परपिट्रेटर्स ऑफ सच क्राइम्स बट स्टिल देर आर क्राइम्स विच आर कमिटेड अगेंस्ट गर्ल्स एंड वेमेन एंड किड्स एट द नेम ऑफ ट्रेडिशन कल्चर एंड रिलीजन समटाइम्स वी बिकम म्यूट स्पेक्टेटर्स बिकॉज वी फीयर टू रेज आर वॉइस अगेंस्ट द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ सम सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटीज एंड समटाइम्स वी डोंट स्पीक because the whole subject at large is considered taboo in our society and one among this subjects is female genital mutilation so enough is enough let's keep our inhibition aside and speak with our heart open i yashwan singh presents you this video about female genital mutilation and this video has been created by megha singh dator so let's start February 6 is observed as the international day of zero tolerance for female genital mutilation then what is female genital mutilation it includes procedure that intentionally alter or cause injury to the female genital organs that is vagina for non medical reasons beyond extreme physical and psychological pain the practice carries many health risks including death for women and children who had suffered this crime against them then let's expand it that these are procedure that involve altering or injuring the female genitalia that is vagina for non medical or cultural reasons it is intentionally recognized as violation of human rights and the health and integrity of girls and women then why fgm why female genital mutilation happens actually you can see this in a picture that one lady she says your definition of a woman needed then a man says that will make her not to be promiscuous but rather a good wife later so this is because of century of patriarchal mindset which says that the piece of vagina is satan ki booty which gives women immense sexual pleasure if not removed the women will go out of hand she may engage with someone else to whom she has not married and she would destroy her marriage and bring shame to the community so is it not a selective way of doing so are only women or girls doing this are boys are not engaged in this type or such type of things in extramarital or uh, premarital affairs let's go ahead so how many types of fgm are there there are total of four types of fgm let's understand one by one first is type 1 that is partial or total removal of the clitoral glands means that in vagina the upper hood portion that is clitoris is partially or totally removed then the second type is partial or total removal of external and visible part of the clitoris and the inner folds of the vulva that is removal of the clitoris and inner folds of the vagina then there is a type 3 that is infibulation or narrowing of the vaginal opening through the creation of a covering hole this is you can say that most horrific this is just to give more pleasure to the men and not to let have any sexual pleasure to the women Means this is very selective, and this is being done at the name of the tradition and culture. So horrific, so shameful. Then there is a type four: picking, piercing, incising, scraping, and cauterizing the genital area. So where FGM, that is female genital mutilation, is practiced, it is usually practiced on girls in the range of zero to fifteen years of age, mainly in sub-Saharan Africa, and Arab states. It is also practiced in Asia, Eastern Europe, and Latin America. You can see this map out here, and the portion marked with. You can see here, and the portion marked with red, orange, red, orange. This light color. You can see this portion, and. almost the portion which are light green in color 
are the prominent portion where this FGM happens. Let's understand it more. It is very prominent in Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, Egypt, Oman, UAE, Iraq, Iran, Georgia, Russian Federation, Colombia and Peru, among others. If I say among others, that means then India, Pakistan, Malaysia and even Afghanistan, the countries around are also included in this. So let's, so FGM in India. So does it happen in India also? I said you that among others India also come. In India, it is known as Khatna or Khafs. And there is a Daudi Bohra community, which is a sect of a smiley branch of Sia Muslim, which very secretly carries out this. And this community lives in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Kerala. And India, it is practiced so secretly, so there is no official data of its prevalence. Unfortunately, there is no law in India to prevent FGM. In 2018, one survey was done. And the survey, when it was done, so 75% of the respondents, that is, Daudi Vora community women, had been gone through this horrific crime against them. And now, the women and the girls and Almost whole society of Vora community is very much vocal about this. Means they are coming at the forefront and speaking against this. And I am sure that this community will do its best to wipe out this blemish from their face. And this will completely be removed. This FGM will completely at least will be removed from India. Then why prevent FGM? I told you. That once a girl or woman goes through FGM, there is a physical and psychological pain and trauma which they go through. Thereafter, means there are series of infections which could happen. There may arise some complexity during the childbirth and means they never comes out from this trauma. There are so many diseases like Infections such as HIV might have sexual diseases and um, sexually transmitted diseases means they will be open to. So, apart from this, the World Health Organization, WHO, it says globally over 2 million girls, 200 million girls, that is 2 Arab girls, alive today have suffered FGM in over 30 countries. The economic cost of treating health complications arising out of female genital mutilation, that is, khatna, amount to roughly $1.4 billion for 2018 for 27 countries. And if it remains the same, the amount is expected to rise up to $2.3 billion by 2047. So you can understand that how enormous and how horrific this crime is so let's have this commitment that we all youth will unite together around the globe and will stop this horrific crime committed against the women around the globe so i hope that you have liked this video very much please like and share it and if you have not subscribed to royals education do subscribe it Please hit the bell icon so you should never miss a video up uploaded by me. Thanks and have a nice day.